Barnabas is dead. That's what David kept saying over and over again. And he was terrified that Barnabas was going to come up here and kill him. And he refused to believe that it was just a dream. He insisted that everything he said is real. I just can't understand his fear of Barnabas. Neither can I. But there must be some reason for it. But there couldn't be. Barnabas has always been so fond of David. Vicki, I'm not saying there's any justification for it, but there must be some reason in David's mind. Probably some childish thing, he imagined. But he was so frightened. He didn't want me to leave the room, so I sat up with him all night. You must be exhausted. Why don't you take the rest of the day off and get some sleep? No, I'd, I'd rather stay near David in case he needs me. Anyway, I did cancel the lessons for today. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Did I hear you talking about David? Yes, he had a nightmare last night and woke up screaming. Oh, that's too bad. Is he feeling better now? Well, he's all right now, but who can tell what will happen next? I stayed up rather late last night thinking about David. Quite worried about his irrational behavior. Irrational? Yes. Yes, this, this whole story about the old house not being safe, but not being able to tell us the reason for it. I wonder if you'd mind if I had a private talk with David. Do you think you could help the situation? Well, I've had some experience in child psychology. I've seen and dealt with children's behavior such as this before. What do you mean? Well, I'm, I'm not really a, a child psychologist, but, but I find that in situations like this, I found that, that it's not really as grave as it seems. Mm. You seem a woman of many talents, Miss Hoffman. Well, the chances are that what's bothering David is, is quite simple. We just don't know what it is. And I think perhaps if I had a talk with him, I might be able to help. Well, you have my permission. I, I better go up to David's room and see if he's willing. Of course. It'd be pointless if he's not willing. I'll be right back. While we're waiting, I wonder if you tell me about David's dream. Give me as many details as you can. David, may I come in? Oh, sure. How do you feel? I'm okay. Miss Hoffman's downstairs in the drawing room. She wants to talk to you. What about? Well, I don't know. She, she seems to think she can help you discover what's troubling you. How does she think she can do that? Well, why don't you talk to her and find out? Well, I don't really think it'll do any good. Well, you can't tell until you try. Won't you try, David, for me? Okay. Thank you. Were you drawing something when I came in just now? Oh, yes. What is it? It's just a picture. May I see it? It wasn't really very good. Oh, David, what are you talking about? You know you draw very well. Now, come on, let me see it. Now, David, I understand you had a bad dream last night. Yes. Would you like to tell me about it? No. Why not? 
Because I doubt if you'll believe me either. Well, why don't you try me and see? Come, sit down. I really don't feel like talking about it. Now, David, if we're going to have this talk, it's important for you to sit back and relax. I'm relaxed. No, you're not. You don't quite know what I'm up to, and you're a little tense about it, aren't you? Well, I'll relax my muscles. There, I'm relaxed. Now, David, I want you to know that if you don't want to stay here, you can walk right out the door. If this is going to be an ordeal for you, leave immediately. Oh, I don't mind talking. What do you want me to say? Well, you've had a very frightening experience. We have to find out who it was that frightened you and, and why they frightened you. Now, the person in question is Barnabas Collins, isn't it? Yes. You dreamed you saw him coming out of a coffin, is that right? Yes. Where was the coffin? In a room. Where was the room? I don't know. Are you sure? It, it seemed like a room that I'd seen before, but I can't remember where. And David, what do you think that part of your dream meant? I, I don't know what you mean. Well, why was Barnabas getting out of the coffin? Oh, I don't know. Well, why do you think he was in the coffin? I don't know that either. Didn't Sarah tell you? No. She just brought me there. Did Sarah tell you anything? No. She was just standing there when the coffin opened. I tried to warn her to get away, now, but... Now, 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 David, you must not talk about it, and you'll get all tense again. Now, sit back and relax. Put your arms at your sides. Now, don't you feel more comfortable? Yes. Good. Now, I'm going to show you something that will make you feel even more comfortable. Now, I want you to just sit back there without talking. Now, look at this. Concentrate on it. It's very pretty, isn't it? Now, just keep looking at it. That's right. You're the one! What? You were in my dream. I couldn't see your face, but... What are you talking about, David? And you were holding in your hand that, that same piece of jewelry. This is just an ordinary medallion. No, it isn't. You kept doing something strange with it. You kept shining at my face. David, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't want to look at it. Take it away. I don't want to look at it. David! you can explain all this. I'm as mystified as you are, Mrs. Stoddard. I was just showing him this simple piece of jewelry. No, take it away. I don't want to look at it. Take it away. I was trying to get him to feel more relaxed when he caught sight of the medallion and then he started carrying on about it. That's all that happened? Yes. Are you sure you didn't say or do something that frightened him? I barely had time to start. I didn't have a chance to say or do anything. Why should you be afraid of a harmless piece of jewelry? I haven't any idea. Vicky, his behavior doesn't make any sense. I think it does. I think in his mind that that wasn't just a harmless piece of jewelry. I beg your pardon? In his... There was a woman holding a, a gold medallion, and it terrified him. Yes, but it couldn't have been this medallion. He's never seen this. There's 
not interesting. What's the matter? You showed me this once before. At Maggie Evans' house. Do you remember? Yes, but I fail to see what's interesting about that. Nothing, except that it's so much like the, the medallion that David described to me in his dream. Well, I think that's just a strange coincidence, don't you? I'm sure you're right. Mrs. Stoddard, I, I think I'll go up and sit with David for a while. Do that, Vicki. I'll be here if you need me. M Mrs. Stoddard, I'm, I'm sorry about what happened. I haven't been much of a help to you. You did your best, Miss Hoffman. I'm beginning to think that none of our best is going to be good enough to help David. What are you doing? I'm looking for Sarah. In there? I see lots of things in there. David, you understand that what happened downstairs was, was nothing more than a strange coincidence. What do you mean? Well, the medallion that Miss Hoffman has couldn't possibly be the one you saw in your dream. But it is exactly the same. And she's the same woman. You told me that in your dream you couldn't see the woman's face. I couldn't, but, but I just know she is. I don't want her to come near me anymore. When is she going to leave here? When her work is finished. Well, I hope she gets through with it quickly and goes away. David, you aren't being very reasonable. Yes, I am. There's something really scary about her, Vicky, and nobody can make me believe that there isn't. All right, but you're wrong. Wait a minute. I know where I can find Sarah! David, what are you doing? I'm going out to get Sarah. You're going to stay right here. But I have to go talk to her. I've got questions to ask her. You are not allowed to leave this house. But, Vicki, I haven't been out for a, over a whole week. The last time you went out looking for Sarah, you got lost for two days. That was at night. This is the middle of the day. David, I don't care. You had us all very worried. But, Vicki, I've gone out hundreds of times, and nobody's even thought about it. But this time it's really important. Why? Because I have to talk to Sarah. About what? I can't tell you. Well, I'm sorry, but you can't go out. Oh, Vicki, please. Just let me go for an hour. I promise I'll be back in an hour. If you let me go, I'll promise you something else. I'll tell you what Sarah and I talk about. That's something you'd like to know, isn't it? Well, I am curious, yes. Then let me go, and I promise I'll tell you. Do you promise that you won't go far from the house? Yes. The crystal ball is always right. Never mind about that crystal ball. You just be sure to be back here in an hour. I will. Oh, thanks, Vicky. When did he have the dream? Last night. The second time in a week he's had a dream about Barnabas. Surely you're not trying to make something out of that. Oh, don't you think that's interesting? No. Barnabas wasn't the only one in the dream. It was Sarah and Julia Hoffman. Yes. Yes, and the incident with Miss Hoffman, that's interesting too. What did she do to, that frightened him? Not a thing. She was just holding a gold medallion. When he got it, we saw it, he got hysterical. Beats me what could be frightening the boy. Have you talked to him about it alone? Oh, yes. I, I tried to just before you got here. What did he tell you? The usual. Nothing. Well, how did he and Miss Hoffman happen to be alone together? 
Oh, she wanted to talk to him alone to see if, oh, well, if he would tell her what was bothering him. I see. You know, sometimes I think that family history is the least of Miss Hoffman's interests. What does that mean? Well, the lady is supposed to be doing research on the Collins family history, and yet she always seems to be busy doing something totally unrelated to that. Oh, no, she works very hard. She just spends most of her time in the library at the old house. Well, I should think she'd get more accomplished in the library right here in Collinwood. She's worked here, too. Maybe she spends more time at the old house because she has a mad crush on Barnabas. Burke. Well, there have been more imperfect combinations. Uh, I better go see David. Oh, oh wait. You, you can't. Uh, he's not in his room. Oh, where is he? He went out to find Sarah. You let him go outside? He's been cooped up in this house all week long. Well, Vicky, in the frame of mind he's in, he shouldn't be allowed to go out wandering alone. But before he got lost, well, he used to go out all the time and nothing happened to him. But you should have gone with him just to be sure. Well, he refuses to take anyone along when he's going to meet Sarah. Why? He says that she's too shy to meet other people. Well, do you know where, where he's meeting her? No, but he told me he wasn't going far from the house. Well, good. He shouldn't be too hard to find. Are you going to look for him? Yes, I have to be back in town this afternoon, so this is the only time I'll have to talk to him. I'll be back. <laughs> Crystal 